Hi, I'm Paul. Hi, I'm what? All right, Bruce Stu, mean old lady. All right, and this is by Bruce Stu Films. Uh, this is actually super recent. Never heard of this channel before, but they have 1.6 mil. So obviously they are well known. Uh, so this is Greg's reaction. We're gonna check it out, as I already said. All right, now I think it's safe to say that when you're a kid, there were certain houses in your neighborhood that you would tend to stay away from. I mean, everybody knew where that your is very true. Herbert was on the block after all. Hey, you guys want to come inside my house so I can take pictures of your feet? But for me personally, oh. I was always more worried about the old lady. Uh, hold on. One, one quick thing is, look, I get people have fetishes. And look, hey, if you are one of these people, it's all good. But what is the obsession sexually over feet? Don't answer that if you actually have the answer. I mean, hey, do, or you can answer it if you actually know. I don't know. I get it. Some people are like, well, what do you find attractive about a butt? You know, it's kind of like, I guess, the same way, but at the same time, they're not on the same wavelength, I feel like. Anyways, I, I don't know. I lived it's... across the street from me because this old lady was mean as hell, and she was notorious for yelling at anybody that walked past her house. Get off my property, you little piss bag. Um, I'm on the sidewalk. What the hell do you want me to do? Walk in the middle of the street? Ah! Ah! Bruh. Oh! Now, even if you were in your own front yard, minding your own R.I.P. Kid. kid shit, she would sit on her front porch and stare at you and make you uncomfortable as hell. La di da da, I'm doing kid shit. Well, what the? Uh, ma'am, can loud I as help fuck. you? Uh, hello? Why is it so loud? Really uncomfortable. Goodbye. Um, there's some old lady staring at me like she's the fucking Blair Witch. Can I just play inside? Listen, I don't care if it's John Wayne Gacy out there staring at you. You get your ass out there and you play outside. And if that wasn't bad enough, that cat this big though. ass cat that would stare at us as well. And when I say this cat was big, I mean this thing was like the size of a goddamn third grader. Okay, That's a thick pussy. On, I don't give a damn. It was an outdoors cat. <laughs> roam around the neighborhood, catch people off guard when they're walking down the street. Oh, what the hell is that? A Kodiak brown bear? Kids, run for your lives. There's a fucking Kodiak brown bear roaming the streets. So naturally, this mean old lady and her fat ass cat gained quite the reputation amongst us kids we'd be making up urban legends and shit i heard she chops up kids with a chainsaw and feeds them to that fat we ass always have some crazy oh assumptions God, like that kids into cat food what the fuck are we gonna do about this now the worst part about this old lady was that every time we played wiffle ball out in the street it always seemed like the goddamn ball would always end up over a fence and into her backyard i don't know what it was but it happened all the time like there was a fucking gravitational pull in her backyard that would suck up wiffle balls left and right <laughs> one time my friend michael tried to that old lady attracted ball some balls back, and that damn old lady tore my new asshole get off my fence you piss stain don't make me sick my fat ass cat on you i come walking back trying to play it off like he wasn't terrified the whole time man that old lady's lucky i didn't walk up there and push Bruh. his ass you see your pants sir uh, you, you soiled it like spongebob soiled it you soiled your pants you then emptied your uh your bladder in that motherfucker <laughs> Uh, yeah, Michael, you know there's piss all over the front of your pants, right? There's what? Ah, oh, god damn it. So needless to say, the unspoken rule was any wiffle ball that went in her backyard stayed in her backyard. And the only time we didn't follow that rule was when I lost my sweet, sweet Vortex football over there. You see, if you're not aware, Vortex footballs were a big deal in the 90s. I mean, it's a football shaped like a fucking nuclear weapon, for Christ's sake. It's got yeah, that's very on the true. side. John Elway did all the commercials for him. Hi, I'm John Elway, and I can throw this motherfucker into the stratosphere if I wanted to. So of course one day the unthinkable happens. I'm gonna kick it. Let football. me go ahead and break Don't a window. Kick football, Michael. Kick it! Don't kick it, goddammit! Alright, I'm kicking it. And sure as hell, my vortex goes straight into that mean old lady's backyard. Okay, never mind. Oh my cool god, stuff. Michael, what have you done? I don't care if your ass is getting chased on in half or not. You're getting your ass over that fence and you're getting that goddamn vortex football. So Michael approaches the house, knowing his chances of survival are about as good as his shitty kicking abilities. That fat ass cat sitting on the porch licking his lips and shit. Ooh, looks like I got me a baby to eat. Somehow Michael Bruh. gets behind the fence undetected. We're all just standing there just waiting to hear the sound of a child getting murdered by a chainsaw. Hey Michael, make sure you throw the vortex before you get your head chopped off, okay? I'm over there praying to John Elway and shit. Please, please John, John Elway, Elway, please deliver please Michael's Michael misguided ass, ass to my vortex, vortex football. football. He's, willing He's willing to die, to die for, it, for it, or at least he should <laughs> be since he kicks like, like a fucking girl. girl. So like five minutes go by and we're starting to lose hope. Well, I think it's safe to say Michael's dead. You guys yeah, he's definitely play fucked. Genesis? But then out of nowhere, somehow oh. Michael fucking gets this vortex football back. I did it! I got the vortex! And then all of a sudden... <laughs> Oh, 
R.I.P. F in the chat. F in the chat. He gone. He gone. He ain't coming back from that one. He went to another vortex and Why shit. You got like his fucking head chopped off. Oh my god, what the hell? All right, all yeah, right. No, need to get that didn't up. happen. In fact, <laughs> nothing happened that day. We got the football and we got the hell out of there. And you know why that happened? Well, because that old lady fucking died a couple weeks before that. Yep. I know that's a shitty ending, but we didn't know it at the time, so it was a big win for us. I mean, we got the vortex oh, football poor back. Cat. We had a couple of wiffle balls on top of it. It wasn't until we seen that her house was up for sale a couple weeks later that we began to piece things together. But even after that mean old lady was gone, her fat ass cat remained, and he'd still watch us all the goddamn time licking his lips and shit. One of these days, little babies, I'm gonna eat you one of these days. Bruce. All right. Well, at least the cat, I guess, is still doing well in this scenario. 